started and getting everybody logged on. Tell us where you guys are watching from. <laughs> We'll give it a couple of minutes before we start painting. Thanks, Jennifer, for turning it over to us. Sorry that I had everybody try and turn on their notifications. I have them all on, but still, the videos were not popping up. So we'll give everyone just a couple of minutes to get logged on. Yeah, while we're waiting, I'll just start calling off a roll call here. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Laura Frizzell Grace. Oh. Lori Robles. Kia Nicole. Lori's watching again, yay. Bayonne, New Jersey, all right. <laughs> Angel Abrams. Awesome. Angel Abrams. Stella Dorkman, Old Bridge. Old Bridge. Laura Fizzell Grace, Freiburg, Maine. Cool. Oh, Lise Barrett is from New Hampshire. Nice. All right, we got Massachusetts in the house. Massachusetts. That's Tanya Grace. <laughs> Holly Geneve. Hi, Holly. Nancy's here. Nancy Barker. Hi, Nancy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nancy. <laughs> Susan Ank from Galloway, New Jersey. New Jersey in the house. <laughs> Kia Nicole, Somerset. All right. We got Ether Hay from Hernan, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Elizabeth Provenzano from Summers Point, New Jersey. Cool. Aisha Crandon, hailed in New Jersey. Jersey. We've got three joins. Ryan Fogarty, Susie Kenyon, Hi, Jennifer Ryan. Thompson. That's Jennifer. Thanks, Jennifer. Awesome. All right. Thompson's here. <laughs> Whoa. We got Halia, Halia Thomas from Jackson, Mississippi. Cool. Candace Dunn, Traverse City, Michigan. Michigan. Uh, Caitlin Brianna from Washington, Pennsylvania. My PA folks. Uh, she says she has to be watched this later because it's okay. uh, she we'll, didn't get the stuff. No problem. We'll no post, problem. We'll post it back. We'll post it right in the event so it'll stay there. You guys can rewatch it later. If you want to do it with your kids later, you can do it with your kids later. <clears throat> awesome. Abby Lee Pate from Northern New York. Cool. Grace Lee, Sammy and Hannah, Boston, Mass. <laughs> awesome. Look at this. EA Match. Samantha Rose from St. John's, Canada. Neptune, New Jersey. Okay. All right, we're good. All right. All right, so with all of that, I am Jennifer, Mimosas and Masterpieces. Who you are talking behind me is my hubby to be at some point. One of these days, we'll make it happen. Ah, uh, just call me your husband. <laughs> Mark Maples. He'll be reading all your comments tonight since I'll be in front of the camera. He's behind the camera. We're going to leave the kid upstairs, hopefully. You might hear the dog running up and down the stairs. The rascal, he's a part of everything. <laughs> we are out of South Brook, New Jersey. Um, I typically would be your traveling paint and sip person, but we cannot travel right now. So we're doing virtual nights. Um, we're going to be doing our paint a wish. This was something that we did for our kind of a make a wish event. It was a really popular painting and one that I love always having around. So it's easily customizable. That's what we're going to be doing tonight. And the next two that we're doing is a cupcake one for the kids. We're going to do this on April 4th. So tune in for that. There's links to these. Um, with all the supplies that you need. And after we do the kids on April 4th, we're gonna do canvas and cocktails for the adults so we can do footprints in the sand or flip flops in the sand. Those are two come upcoming events. So let's go over your supplies for tonight. So you have your canvas, easel if you have one. If not, you can lay it flat on your table. Try to cover your space just so you don't get paint all over the place. Uh, your two brush two brushes. You'll have a large, larger flat brush. And if I can get this guy out of here, you'll have a small round brush. This will be for our detail later. We're going to work mainly with this guy to start with. And you have, I can't answer the phone right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're good. And then our paint. So if you haven't gotten your paints on your plates, I'll let you guys do that. I like to use two plates. One is my mixing palette and then the other is our plate with paint. So tonight I'm just using white, red, blue, and black. If you have purple, you can use purple. I'm just gonna mix my red and blue on the canvas into purple. We're gonna mix it all anyway. So white, red, blue, and black. Just a little bit of black is all we'll really need. So I'll give you a minute or so to get those colors on your plates. 
and then we'll get started. If you guys have questions, feel free to type them in, message in, Mark will shout them out to me and we'll answer your questions. I don't have any music on this time. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't, we don't have copy. We, we don't, don't have, have copyright, copyright. music. <laughs> uh, Helia says, I'm not live. What do I need to do? Uh, try to refresh in the event. And hopefully if you scroll a bit, you might see us, our live videos in there. I know it took a minute for us to catch it or catch ourselves on live. <clears throat> Rascal, you cannot paint. No painting tonight for you. Let us know how you're making out, Helia. <laughs> well, she messaged on there, so if she messaged on there, right, she if she's must messaging be on live. there, she should be live. Maybe yeah. because the phone call came through and that broke her off. Is it still going on yours? Yes, it's good. We good. Okay. Man, yeah, I don't know. All right, all right, so we're gonna get started. What we're gonna do is, with our large flat brush, we want you to rinse and dry this. Make sure you have some paper towels on hand. Rinse and dry good to start. And then we're gonna just take a scoop, almost a scoop of blue. Get a nice amount of paint on your brush. And then we're just gonna do an X stroke. So this is kind of like I like to call like the karate kid, like paint the fence up, down. <laughs> so down, up, down. You're just gonna do X's all over your canvas. Can be in any pattern you want it to be. We're gonna blend as we paint. So just X marks all over your canvas. So I'm going slowly, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. So as you get this rhythm down, you'll be able to go a little bit faster. So just X's all over your canvas in any pattern, because we're gonna blend as we go. Everyone's painting will look different. Mine comes out different every time I do it. Doesn't matter. Try and grab the edges, tops, and sides of your bra of your canvas as you're painting. I'm just gonna go run my brush along the side now. Helps it look like it's finished in the end. You have some blue on there. I'm keeping a dirty brush. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna clean it. I'm not gonna wash it. I'm gonna go right to the red. So I have my blue that I've been using. I'm gonna go right to the red. Scoop of red, and we're gonna do the same thing. Just X's in areas. You can overlap your blue. It'll turn purple in some areas, and that's kind of what we want. X's so front and back. Almost like paint the fence, up, down. If you don't know that reference, we can't be friends. <laughs> One of my favorite shows, movies. <laughs> so just X's. You can overlap in your blue. I'm assuming everyone is painting because I'm not getting any comments. So. <laughs> Somebody give us a shout out. We're okay. <laughs> I see 55. We have 55. Okay. Good deal. Yes, we got a comment. Okay, Nancy says we're good. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> okay, Monique is catching up. You'll no have problem. plenty of time to catch up. Don't worry. Yeah, the background of this one goes kind of quickly, so. <laughs> and I've done it often, so. You almost want to want to cover almost the whole thing. There could be some white spaces, because we're going to go back over it almost, almost everything with some white. 
So we'll fill in all those blank spaces and we'll blend while we're right to canvas. Nice, easy one. So, Got a question, Angela. Yep. Yeah. Says, can we rewatch later? Yes, you can. We'd love to do this with the kids. Yeah, this is a nice, easy one for the kiddos. Definitely. We'll post the, we'll save the video and post it right to the event so you can go back to the event and look through it. Lisa, she's good. If her cat would just leave her alone. <laughs> I know. We know the feeling. Rascal. Yeah, Rascal's right down. here at her feet. <laughs> at least he's laying down now. He's calmed down. <laughs> so this is the winding down of Social Work Month, huh? This is the winding down of Social Work Month. Thank you for all the social workers out there for everything that you do. Your job, jobs are far and wide. I had no idea how much you guys do and where you're all involved, so... Thank you all so much for that. Tell Holly, yes, the next ones we'll be doing will be free, she's asking. Yep. We paint for tips. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're doing for now. Um, so we'll post a, a PayPal or a Venmo later. We would love tips. We would also love for you guys when you're done to email us a picture of your canvas and you holding your canvas. So what we'll do is um, put a a photo montage together of all the photos that we receive over the next day or so and we'll post that to the event as well so send us your um send us your pictures our email is just mimosas masterpieces at yahoo.com that's all so once we've got our blue and red on the canvas we're going to use the same same brush i'm not cleaning it rinsing it anything we're going to go right to white scoop of white and we're going to do the same motion i'm going to start in the areas that I've, i haven't really covered so again, we're just X's and blending right on the canvas. You can go as light or as dark on this as you want. So it's just X's and we're just blending on canvas. Yes, Jennifer Thompson says, yes, we love our social workers and the incredible value that they add to the communities daily. Definitely. We definitely agree here. So we're just covering the white areas and blending into those other colors. So we're getting pinks and lighter purples and lighter blues. Go over this as many times as you want to until you're happy with it. There's no right or wrong way. And now I'm going to go on my easel. If you have yours on an easel and you want to pick it up, you can pick it up. I'm just going to go right down there. Our flower, well, I call it the wish flower, <laughs> our dandelion is going to be white in color. So you do want it dark enough so that your white dandelion petals or seeds will show up. Uh, Abby Lee says, did you switch the brush size for the white paint? Nope, all same brush. I haven't rinsed or dried or anything like that. It's all been the same brush. Essie Rose says, my fiance says every month is social work month. So true. It should be. <laughs> you guys do so much. If it feels like it's too thick on the canvas and you're not covering, you can dip your brush in a, just a little bit of water and that might help your paint flow a little bit better on the canvas if you've dried a bit. Too much water and your paint will start to run though, so don't go too crazy with the water. You're looking good, looking good. Really? All right, Rascal, chill out. <laughs> She's only gonna be gone for a little while. She's just doing some help with uh, painting right now. <laughs> you can have her back as soon as she's done. Rescue, rescue. <laughs> Rascal is our rescue dog. We got him from Wise Animal Rescue in December. 
December? Yeah, it was December. It was December. And he's just fit right into our home like he's always been here. It's been amazing. Right. He's very possessive <laughs> of her. <laughs> All right. Let's go about fun. So when you're done coating your background of your canvas, you're just going to rinse and dry that big brush, and we're going to be done with that one for now. I think forever. <laughs> just, unless you want to grab your sides and your edges, make sure you grab those, paint those while you're going. Take a minute to refill your drinks if you're having a sip. Yeah, we'll give people time to catch up if they're yeah. not caught up. No but I think for the most part, everybody's doing well because we're not seeing any comments right now. <laughs> and we're up to 57, so we got 57 people. Or 57 uh, connections. So when we do get back into traveling and coming out to you, we do not only do canvas, we do glassware painting. Um, here at the Mimosa Studio in South Brook, we are doing resin pours. Which I'm going to step in front of this for just a moment. Good. <laughs> no, we couldn't see you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't want to stand in front of the painting. Oh, 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 okay. So, resin pours. So, what we're doing now is um, pouring some clear resin with colored powders, um, glitters. They're just gorgeous in person. Like, camera photos do nothing to these pieces. Um, so much fun. So, we do. Um, charcuterie boards and um, what else do we do? <laughs> Little tables, hanging pieces, um, trays. They're so pretty. So when we get back to being able to socialize physically, we, we welcome you to our home. We always say you come as a guest and you leave as a friend. When we have bottles of wine or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we have um, Sydney, Joyce Casey saying, how come mine doesn't look like yours? They're all gonna look different. Mine doesn't look like this one either, so it's okay. If it seems like it's too light, you can go back in with some red and blue. If it's too dark, you can just go back in with some white. The, the, the whole, the entire background, you're just kind of wiping the paint on and blending as we go. So front strokes, back strokes, front strokes, back strokes, do the whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> They'll all look different. I can do the same painting 10 times, 20 times, and it will look different every single time I do it. Every time. <laughs> good, good, good pacing. Okay. Got more? No, everything is good. Okay. <laughs> All right, do we, can we get an okay for one or two or three of you that are okay to move on? I don't wanna go too quickly. I think everyone is up to date. <laughs> if anybody has any um, difficulties or any issues, they're going to say something, and I'll, I'll relay it to you. <laughs> yeah, Nancy says, there's your okay. Oh, okay. Are you actually painting, Nancy? <laughs> All right. Uh, Joni says, hold on. Okay. Okay, we're getting some responses now. Yeah. Dana and Ty Tanya says, okay. Okay. Joni says, she's still doing her white. Okay. There. Good, yeah, everybody's pretty good because they're checking in now. <laughs> Anybody that hasn't checked in with us and told us where you're from, feel free to let us know where you're coming, where you're I think we got from. everybody. That was pretty fast. They all came, <laughs> they all came crashing. They probably in. were watching Jen's first, which was, was perfect. That worked out well. There you go. Jennifer Palmer Thompson says, We're good in wine. Good in wine. <laughs> it's always a good combination. <laughs> So when you are uh, ready. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Monique is from New York, and Shannon Boone says, is this a good time to add sparkles? You can always add sparkles. Sparkles can go anywhere, anytime you want. <laughs> sparkles. All right, we're good. All right. Everybody seems good. Good. All right, so our next step we're going to do, you're going to rinse and dry that big flat brush, leave it, and we're going to switch to the small one. And again, we're going to rinse and dry this. And my, my little... Friend, my little assistant Juliana or Julia so she always likes to call it a ballerina brush so once you dr rinse it and then you dry it always kind of get your brush back to a point so you're kind of like 
pulling it to a point so that it's a nice thin point. And when you have that thin point, you can get those real fine little lines without a tiny detail brush. If you have a detail brush, you can use a detail brush here. We're gonna just start with the stem. So we're gonna go from the, wherever you want the center of your flower, or your, I'm gonna call it a flower, wherever you want the center of your flower to be, all the way down to the edge. So I'm gonna come up almost right in the center of the painting and bring it all the way down to the bottom. So this is just in your black. And it doesn't, I like to, this is my pencil grip. Don't use a pencil grip. Come up a little bit further on your brush so that you have a little bit of freedom with your paint and with your brush. It doesn't have to be a real rigid line. So right from the center of my canvas, I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom. If you want it thicker on the bottom, which I'm gonna make this stem a little bit thicker, just follow the line a little bit more and thicken this up. You might have to go over it one or two times with your black to get a nice thick line. And you'll probably pull up some of the color that's that's on there, which is okay too. So it may not be black, black, that's all right. You can always go back over this later when it dries a little more if you want. And then you're gonna rinse and dry this guy. Okay, while they're doing that, mm -hmm. Roxy Poxy just joined. Hi, Roxy. Um, I, I, I guess they're prepared and ready to go. Could you just tell them uh, what colors they need to have? Yep. Or just give a quick overview of what you had just done real yep. quick. So Roxy, our colors are red, oh, red, blue, white, and black. You just need a little tiny bit of black. You're gonna just take your long or wide flat brush and in your red or in your blue, you're just gonna make X's all over your painting to cover the background. You'll start with blue, go to red, and then do white until the whole background is completed. You'll be blending once you get to your white, you're just gonna blend everything in. So you get those light pinks and the purples and the lighter blues, like that. Once that's all completed, we're on to the next step. So, We've got Christy Higgins Esposito from Medway, Massachusetts. This is hi. hi. Christy. Thanks for watching. All right, so once we have our stem of our flower on, we're gonna move to the important part, right? These are all the little seeds. So I'm gonna bring this as a close-up, just so you can see what they are. And Hold it up high, so. please. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna come closer. Give it a second. <laughs> yes. I wanna see where it, how it's placed. <laughs> I'll bring it down a bit and then over to the yeah, perfect. <laughs> My okay. director. Yes, Okay. You're good. So all of these little seeds are little lines. So we're gonna use our tiny brush, or if you have a detail brush and wanna go smaller, you can go smaller. You're just gonna rinse and dry this every couple of strokes, dipping into white, and we're just doing little straight lines out from the center. And then with from each of these in all different areas, they're like two or three little strokes up from each line. So let's start with one of them here. Um, before you do that, yeah. we have Susan says, uh, what motion did you do for the stem? For the stem, I'm just, I just hold my brush a little bit farther away from the edge. I will call this a pencil grip. I like to call this like kind of the freedom grip. <laughs> so you have a little bit of freedom in your, in your brush. So it's just in black, right from the center, all the way down to the bottom. You may have to go over that once or twice until you get the thickness that you like. And it can go up and down, doesn't yep. matter which direction. Nope. All right, so with your brush to a point in your white, light pressure. The lighter the pressure, the thinner your lines. The, hard, the harder the pressure, the wider your lines will be. So light pressure right from the center, right from the black, and you can go right over where the black is. Just little lines out. And I know it looks a little crazy at first, but I promise, give it some time. In this case, it's not less is more. We want lots and lots of little petals like this. So it's like you're doing lots of starbursts. Oops, see, even I make mistakes. <laughs> you made a mistake? <laughs> and my brush at the edge of the, of the canvas. Oh. 
So my lines are getting thick. So I'm gonna rinse and dry, get it back to a point, and do the same thing. So get my brush back to a little point, and keep going. So once I come from the center, then I can do some in between all those little, I'll, let's call them the, whether they're petals or like spokes. So then you're gonna keep going in between there. They don't have to be attached. You just want a nice full dandelion. Dipping in between every one so I get a nice white bright line every time. And as I go out, I'm making smaller ones in between the larger ones. Lighter pressure, thinner lines. Just want to try and make sure that your flowers or your <laughs> what we're gonna call it the flower <laughs> is round in shape here. petals in there until you feel like it's full enough. You can remind them there's no set rules. No. Everyone's painting is going to come out different so and that's what makes it so so beautiful. Exactly. When we get your photos and we really would love for you to all send in pictures of you with your painting. So have a friend or have your spouse take a photo of you with your painting so that we can see you and your painting. Tell us where you're sending it from and we're going to do a photo montage and post that up in the um, on the page as well. All right, so once I have my little thing, little stems in there or uh, petals in there, now I'm going to go to the little edges of it. So with, for those from you can go from the edge, you can go from the inside, it doesn't even matter. So I'm just going, using the point of my brush, going to the edge of each one of these little petals and little tiny, I'm gonna call them like chicken feet. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. You can do that on as many as you want to. So it doesn't have to be just the edges, we can come down in, in here too. It's always three. Nope, it doesn't have to be three. I just like to do three. It seems like it's full. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So just point of the brush right to the canvas and just lift away. Just a little bit of pressure. Dana cannot see the chicken feet. Dana, let's show you the chicken feet. All right. I'm gonna take this one because it's a little easier to move. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when we get that in focus again. You're picking it up now and you're bringing it up and yes, that's beautiful. Okay. So after you have all these lines in there, then your little chicken feet or your little, uh, <laughs> your little petals will go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. They can go wherever you want them to go. It doesn't have to be just the ends. The more you do it in the center and around in the, in the middle of it, the fuller your flower will feel. Okay. Jennifer Thompson said, her kid abandoned ship. Already? That happens. <laughs> Dana says thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, maybe the, maybe uh, if she comes back on the fourth and does the cupcake, the kid will be uh, yeah, more interested. So if you know anybody that, uh, any kids, that missed their birthday, had to cancel their birthday, um, are just kind of bummed because their birthday is during this whole thing and they missed out on something, 
please email us with their, their information and your address. We'll pop something in the mail to them and we will um, give them a shout out live, a, a happy birthday to them on April 4th when we do the cupcake painting. Oh, well, Shannon says, mine looks like an angry sneeze. <laughs> That's a good description. I don't know what an angry sneeze looks like, but that's kind of funny. <laughs> they all will look different. I promise. Le it's In this case, it's not less is more sometimes. This time, the more you, um, the more of the little lines you do, the fuller it will feel and the more realistic I think it will look. Uh, Holly says, what date is the foot footprints? So Can you add the event link here? Yep, we'll add it on the bottom there. If you're on the Mimosas and Masterpieces um, Facebook page, you'll be able to see all those um, events too. So both of them are on April 4th. We're gonna do the kids in the afternoon and the adults in the evening. We're gonna be making watermelon sangria cocktails for the adults. You'll be watching, I'll be drinking just so. Just so we clear, we're clear. <laughs> <laughs> but I have all the ingredients listed. If you do want to order all your stuff ahead of time and make them with me, please do. This takes a little bit of time. Oh yeah, but it's, it's going to take it. a while. going to try and set up for those of you who again your adult birthday we all want to celebrate our birthdays I'm 40 ish if I think and I still want to celebrate my birthday I don't care how old I am today is my mom's birthday also and she's really bummed that we are not there celebrating her birthday with her yeah um, <laughs> so we are more than happy to do this with you in a small group setting um, we can go live just for your group. Uh, Kia says, are the chicken feet supposed to go up and down the white lines? So they'll go out. Um, so let's say up here, I'm making strokes up and down here, I'm making strokes down. So you want them to move away from the center of the flower. Are they all on the tips of the white lines or you can put them all along the white you lines? You can put them all along the white lines and if you need to fill in areas, you can do the same thing. A little, little white chicken feet <laughs> or mm -hmm. little V's all throughout your little flower. And I think sometimes really the more there are, the fuller your flower looks and the more realistic it is. It's a dandelion, right? Dandelion. I know, I keep calling it a flower. A wish flower to me. It's always been a wish flower ever since we were kids. Yes. <laughs> me too. And from a Kia says thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna go get some of my beer right over top of my stem. Kia, it can't look terrible. It looks good. <laughs> it does. When you're done, I'm you'll sure. see. Sure, I am sure. We definitely want to see all of your paintings. Yeah, there are no terrible paintings. There's not. I speak from experience. I watch her do this all the time, <laughs> and uh, there's always people that says, "Oh, it's not looking right," and then at the end they go, "Wow." Have a little faith in yourself. You can do this. Yeah, you can. Is it still um, still up on the phone? Should be okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it's just probably our computer. Computer is a little. You're back. Old. Yeah, computer's a little old. All right. So again, change of scenery from here. You want to throw some of these little seeds up in the sky or down here. So I'm going to do a couple up here. So just a little line with our little chicken feet. Do do do. It's like they're kind of getting away from that. Dandelion. And on the bottom, you can choose whatever word you want. We did a wish because this was kind of a paint a wish event. You can choose dream, you can choose love, you can choose family. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do 
green for this one. So I'm just going to write it with my white. Okay, Abby says, how did you do, how did you do the very middle of the flower before you branched out? The very middle was really just your, um, just your black stem. I, the middle kind of um, morphs once you start putting the petals on it, because I went right from the black and came out. So it sort of dragged the, or drug the black through the white in the center. That's why it looks like there's color there. Mm -hmm. It's really just our black stem that we put on and then our white petals that came right from the center of it. The chicken feet. Yep, and then our chicken feet, yep. Okay. So, now I have black in my brush. So you can write whatever you want in there. You put somebody's name on there. I got an interruption again. It's most likely this. Maybe we need a Wi Fi connector down here. I don't, oh, I think it's just the computer. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back to a couple of my little seeds that are floating. Put these wherever you want to put them. And that would be Holly the bird. If you hear her, sorry. Angel says, Our paintings in Bayonne look rough. <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to be fine. <laughs> Stick with it. You'll see. Rinse and dry that brush if you need to get it to a point to get those little tiny fine lines in there sometimes. Sometimes that's all it is, is that your lines are a little bit. They seem too thick for the flower. Yeah, could um, just slow down a little bit because yeah. I want to make sure that everybody's connected because we keep fading out or coming back and yeah. it says this these people joined and they were already so I'm thinking they're getting back the connection. Okay, yeah, no problem. And give people a chance to catch up. Everything seems to be back to normal now. Can you step into the picture? Sorry. <laughs> you can drink water. Yeah. Because um, it just looks weird when it's just the painting sitting there and then it's like you left Sorry. us and we don't know where you've gone. You just disappeared. I'm just here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's Nancy says, yeah, you're back. You're back. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that. You went with dream instead of wish? Okay. Yeah, I said I decided to change it. Okay. Change it up a little. And they can put whatever they want, yeah. right? Yep, you can write whatever you want on it. I think it was Holly. Was it Holly? I think I was talking to you about that. That She said she only had um, the little 12 by 12 canvases. I was like, well, if you have three, you can do like a trio and do dream, wish, love, or whatever. Live, laugh, love, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Know, whatever that saying is. <clears throat> yeah, you can change whatever whatever painting. You can downscale it, upscale it. Any of the um, events that we have posted, we know that the, the, the roadblock right now is getting supplies. So I posted a couple of links um, for uh, Jerry's Art Arama. I have, the site is not easy to navigate. It is frustrating. So I created a cart and shared it for each of the next events. Okay. If you go right to that cart, the link that I sent and put put on the events, it'll link you right to a shopping cart. You can just take out the things that you don't need that you have already and then check out. <laughs> okay. And then the pricing is a lot better probably than um, probably even Michael's because it's it's kind of like my wholesale place where I would get supplies from. So there's some pretty good deals on there. So you're ordering right from the teacher's place. <laughs> so they just have to go to the Mimosa and Masterpieces page? So on each of the events, the cupcake event and the flip-flop or, or footprints in the sand, sand, <laughs> footprints in the sand, there is a link to um, the shopping carts for both of those events. 
and both of that both of them will do two paintings so it I do have an easel uh, like an easel on each one I have and they canvases come in two packs so you'll be able to do two paintings with the supplies that you're ordering mm. So to finish up our little petals or seeds that are falling, I'm just, I rinsed and dried that little brush. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of black, not a lot, just a little tiny bit of black. And on the ends of each, on the end without the chicken feet of each of the seeds, I'm just gonna put a little bit of black. So it looks like it came from the stem. Just a little black on the end that doesn't have the chicken feet on each of the little seeds that I put on my canvas here. Each of those floating seeds that I don't know. That's all. And you can take your time adding this as you go. If you want to add more to it, you can add more to it. But the very last thing that you'll do is just add your signature somewhere on it. Once you're done. Anywhere? Anywhere you want. I typically will go to my bottom right, bottom right corner of my painting with my little brush. I'm going to do it in purple. Usually do my initials and the year. So. Angela Mann says, thank you for sharing these creative outlets for wellness during our mm. social isolation. So That's welcome. well put. Yeah, it is social. Totally. You're so welcome. So please send us your photos when you're done. We would really appreciate them. We will put together that um, photo montage of all the paintings that come in. Um, the very first one we did, was it last week only or was it two weeks ago? It was just last week. I've lost track of time since we've been home. <laughs> um, was just overwhelming and an outpouring of love and seeing everybody's paintings from all over the United States was just amazing and Canada. Um, so we would love to see them all again. We'll put together that photo montage. We will um, we'll put up our PayPal Venmo if you feel up to giving us tips. <laughs> we would appreciate it. Nancy um, said it's two weeks ago. <laughs> was it? Did she? I think it was two weeks ago, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It felt like it was last week. <laughs> <laughs> we really have lost track of time in this. Class. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> we lost track of time completely. If you're, you know, you're homeschooling and you're working from home and then trying to make this work at some point, we just, instead of trying to make a business out of it right now, we really just want to spread some joy and love um, and have a down, have some downtime. So, yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris is, chimed in says, yeah, last week. Well, thank you, Chris. I knew she was on there. There was somebody else on there. Nancy Dunham <laughs> says, uh, thank you for sharing. You Took notes right. to do later. So welcome. Yeah, the, we'll save the video so you can watch it again. You can go back to it. You can do a, a, you know, do a trio. Do a couple of them. Change it up a little bit. Maybe your flower has lost half of its petals. And, you know, we would love to see them all. All of your variations. So, Send us your emails. Again, it's um, mimosasmasterpieces at yahoo.com. Um, like the Facebook page or check in for us. We, a review would be awesome too. Um, we're, we're definitely open to constructive criticism. Send us an email. Um, if there's anything else that we can do, let us know. We appreciate you checking in with us. So thanks for painting. And have a great night, everybody. We'll see you on, or you'll see us on April, April 4th. 4th. <laughs> Susan, April says, 4th. Uh, Susan says, Susan um, says, I would do this again even without a quarantine. <laughs> exactly, that's the point. We definitely like being in person, but this is working out. So as long as you guys are enjoying it, it's we'll, we'll keep doing it. Yes, yeah. See, we'll our Nancy says, um, our Nancy says, yes, Char was here last week. Okay. Okay. Last week it was. See. <laughs> uh, Abby says, thank you for doing this. Art therapy is beneficial, and I'll do this with my kids. It is. She definitely, appreciates it. Definitely the kids. We appreciate you. Thank you. So, yes, the kids' one is a 12 by 12 cupcake. Is that better? Under the light. There we go. Yeah, show them the cupcake for cupcake. the kids. So, again, if you know anybody that has a kid that had a birthday that missed out, had to cancel their party, um, that's kind of like bummed, send us or tag them, maybe set, share the event and tag them. We'll have them send us an email with the child's name, uh, where they're from, 
And if they send us their address, we'll pop something in the mail to them, just as a little happy birthday from us, just to kind of lift some spirits. So, and we'll give shout outs for everybody's birthday on the 4th as well. Uh, I think Lee's got a jealous cat because uh, she just said the cat just took off with one of my brushes. <laughs> if you get a picture of the cat with the brush, send it over to us. We're still trying to get a picture of Rascal with his br with a brush. Sue and Jody, thank you both. You thank you so much. You guys are so welcome. Thank you thank guys for Thank all watching. the social workers. Thank you guys, yes. You are yes. definitely valued. You do great work. 100%. I, I take it from me. I'm from a foster family, okay? My, I've got foster brothers. I have foster sisters. And uh, my family was a foster family for years. True. Do you want to come over here and say hi to everybody? Since no. No, come on. <laughs> I'm not dressed right. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, that's okay. Say... So what? It's all right. I'm all in the right. t-shirt and jeans. So this is the mark behind the behind the screen. Mwah. Thank you for helping always. My pleasure. Always. <laughs> Social so, workers, you're the greatest. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, you just have to click off and we're good. All right, that was fun. <laughs> Alrighty, bye guys.